forecast, the, the possibility of severe weather tonight. First off, here's a look at the latest watches and warnings. On the left-hand panel there, you see all those counties in yellow are currently under a tornado watch. And then those smaller orange and red boxes, those are warnings, severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings, respectively. So we already have these tornado watches to our northwest, and I would expect those to expand toward the east and southeast as we go into the evening. On the right-hand side, you can see the latest radar image. You can see a line of storms extending from east of Oklahoma City down to west of Fort Worth, and just a, sign, a hint of development now to the west of Austin. And we would expect this line to fill in and extend further south as we go into the evening. So what about the convective outlook for tonight, the severe thunderstorm outlook? Uh, we are looking at uh, moderate risk, um, which is a level four for our northernmost county in our forecast area, uh, Houston County. Uh, you can see our forecast area uh, highlighted in a, with, by a bold black line. And then as you go just a little further south, uh, uh, enhanced risk, level three, that includes College Station, Houston, uh, Livingston, and, and others. And then the southernmost counties are in what we call a slight risk or a level two. And so we expect these severe thunderstorms uh, tonight um, moving from west to east in a line, whether it be a solid or broken line, across the area. The primary threats, damaging winds and tornadoes. Uh, there may be a few reports also of large hail but probably the, the, the primary threat is going to be those damaging winds and isolated tornadoes. When do we expect this to occur? Between 8 p.m. tonight, starting in the western counties. Uh, so that would include Burleson, uh, Brazos uh, uh, counties off to the west, uh, Washington County, and Bryan College Station. Again, that would be about 8 p.m. or so, give or take an hour. And that would then shift steadily eastward reaching the Houston area uh, around midnight or so, uh, give or take an hour or two. And that, sh that line should uh, contain the bulk of our severe weather, the, the damaging winds and isolated tornadoes. We can't rule out a few storms developing immediately ahead of the line. Uh, that could also be severe uh, with high winds and tornadoes. Uh, we have, again, that moderate risk in the far north, enhanced risk, uh, just south of that, and uh, what we call a slight risk further south. So what is that telling us? Really, the risk, the intensity, and the coverage are going to be more uh, uh, significant as you go further north. Um, in, the, in the coastal counties, we have a limiting factor, something called a cap, uh, that may try to inhibit thunderstorm development just a little bit. Uh, but we don't have that limiting factor further north. And so you would expect the northern counties to have the greatest risk of uh, the most severe weather and, and probably uh, the greatest coverage, but there is a risk throughout the area. And that's what we're trying to show here. This is a map of the tornado risk. And so there's quite a bit of information here. So let me go ahead and unpack that. In the image on the right-hand side, the numbers indicate the chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a point. So what does that mean? That's telling us where the greatest likelihood of tornadoes is. Uh, and it's going to be over our northern counties and then on farther north and northeast into the arc latex region, and including much of east Texas. Uh, and so there you've got a 10 to 15 percent probability and even greater than 15 percent in portions of northwest Louisiana. And then down uh, in our enhanced risk area, uh, more like a 5 to 10 percent chance, still significant. Uh, and then those coastal counties, more like 2 percent. So again, a greater threat of tornadoes and stronger tornadoes farther north, but there is a tornado uh, risk everywhere. The black hatched hatching on that right-hand image, that actually is with the Storm Protection Center where they're indicating uh, the, the greatest chance of strong tornadoes, meaning EF2 or higher on the enhanced Fujita scale. 
similar story with the damaging wind uh, risk. Uh, if you look at the right hand image there, you can see a 45% chance of a damaging wind report within 25 miles. So almost a one in two chance uh, in that zone there in the north. Uh, that includes Houston County uh, and then on to the north and northeast. And then lesser chances, but still significant uh, as you go farther south into our forecast area. So bottom line is there is a risk of damaging winds over a large area tonight with the greatest threat being over the northern counties uh, where we have the higher percentages and certainly in those hatched areas. Uh, the hatched areas indicate the potential for 75 mile per hour winds or greater. So it is a fairly high end event if it were to occur, especially in those northern areas. What about timing? Uh, what I've done here is, is grabbed images from a recent run, a model run. This is just one model's uh, scenario, but the other models are fairly similar in timing. Uh, you can see that line that's out there now by 6 p.m. Uh, is forecast by this model to build to the south uh, and then track steadily toward the east. Uh, so by 9, 8 or 9 p.m., it's getting into, again, those western counties. Uh, of our forecast area, uh, probably in the in the Houston area, in the Angleton area, up toward uh, Livingston, uh, around midnight, give or take uh, a couple hours, uh, and then should be east of our forecast area by 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, and so you can see that progression from left to right uh, shown by this model. It may not be exactly like this, it probably won't as far as timing, but this is probably pretty close uh, on the progression. Notice also the line is, is fairly thin, uh, especially uh, over the southern half of the area. So the period impacted by the severe weather, probably on the order of an hour or so, uh, that it, uh, maybe an hour or two most, uh, along and immediately ahead of that line. Um, so. And that's fairly similar to the timing we, uh, we discussed yesterday. Uh, the rainfall flood threat, minor, uh, not really expecting this to be a flood event. Uh, the forecast rainfall amounts probably on average about an inch or so, uh, maybe an inch, inch and a half in the north. And uh, it, it may rain heavily for a brief period of time, it probably will, uh, but the system is moving so quickly, we're not really looking at a, a flood threat from this. Uh, maybe perhaps some, some poor drainage flooding in the far north, uh, localized. Uh, there is more of a flood threat. You can see in the image on the lower right in those areas shaded yellow and red. Uh, so that's up across north Texas and eastern Oklahoma. So just to sum up, uh, we are looking at, again, uh, not much change from yesterday. This line of storms, you know, whether it be a broken or a solid line, Potentially severe, expected to cross the area from west to east tonight, uh, starting with the western counties at 8 or 9 p.m. That would, would include Bryan College Station, and then exiting the eastern areas 2 or 3 a.m., probably in the greater Houston area around midnight, give or take an hour or two. For most locations, that window of severe weather will be one to two hours at most with the line itself and just ahead of that line Damaging winds and tornadoes are the main threats. Uh, if you look at the winds just above the surface right now, and, and as we go through the night, you know they're up around 60 mile per hour, not far above the surface. So all these storms have to do is, is uh, mix some of that those high winds down. Uh, also, we have a fairly rapid movement. So all of these factors contribute together to lead to this damaging wind threat. Uh, the threat for tornadoes and winds uh, damaging winds is greatest over the northern areas uh, and somewhat lower as you get to the south, uh, but we, everyone in the area does have some risk tonight of severe weather. Not every location will see the storm damage, but there will be areas certainly of uh, straight line wind damage and possibly tornadoes. Uh, where those high winds occur, we're likely to see some power outages down trees perhaps even structural damage. So again, it's not for everyone, but you, we will likely see pockets of this. Um, 
everywhere really, but especially in the north, uh, we'll see more areas to be impacted this way. And then just a reminder, uh, we really do need your reports. Uh, you all have our operations uh, number. Uh, please relay, relay that to us. We're also uh, putting this call out through social media that I mentioned yesterday. So um, as we go through the night, please keep sharing uh, that weather information. And since I talked yesterday, we probably had 30 to 35 people sign up for chat. So that's really uh, great for us. And uh, give it a try tonight. And I think you're really going to like it for situational awareness and also communication. All right. Uh, so uh, that's all I have.